Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Title IX was a landmark civil rights law. It helped create the incredible breadth of women's sports and girls' sports that we see across the country. I believe in girls' sports. I believe in women's sports. I'm the proud father of two daughters who are both athletes. I think participating in competitive sports is a wonderful thing for a young girl. I think it is a wonderful thing for a woman. And I think, unfortunately, today's Democrat Party has decided that women's sports and girls' sports no longer matters, and they're willing to push radical legislation designed to destroy girls' sports and women's sports. Ms. Gaines, I want to thank you for your courage. You are relatively young, but you have demonstrated incredible courage. And because you have dared to speak up, you have been demonized. You have been vilified. I saw when you were attacked by a leftist mob at San Francisco State University for daring to speak up. You had an incredible record as a swimmer at the University of Kentucky. You were a two-time NCAA All-American. You were a five-time SEC champion. You were at, you're an SEC record holder and a two-time Olympic trial qualifier. But yet, on March 27th, 2022, something changed. What happened on March, 20, uh, on March 17th, 2022? That's when Thomas and I raced in the 200 freestyle and, again, resulted in a tie. And so you tied. What, what was the consequence of tying? We went behind the awards podium where typically you're handed your trophy, you're marched out, you're named an All-American, and so we go back there, and the official looks at both Thomas and myself and says, great job, but you guys tied. And we only have one trophy, therefore we're giving this trophy to Leah. And I question this, and I say, why? And at first, I, I shortened it in my testimony, but really he stumbled on his words. He didn't know how to answer this. And at first he's, uh, well, we're just doing this in chronological order. To which I further pressed, and I said, okay, well, what are you being chronological about? Because we tied. And if we're doing this off alphabetical order, G comes before T. So what are you being chronological about? To which this wasn't a script they had prepared for him. And he actually appreciated his honesty. He did say, we have to give the trophy for Leah because we, Leah has to have it for pictures. They've, they've made that clear. Leah has to have the trophy for pictures. You can pose with this trophy, but you have to give yours back. You have to go home empty-handed. Leah Thomas takes the trophy home. End of story. Now, let me ask you, as someone who's competed at the, at the elite level, in your experience, is, is, is there a difference between women and men? Of course. I think we learned this at a very young age, watching even 12 and unders play. Going through puberty causes irreversible um, advantage, that no matter the training, no matter the diet, no matter any alterable um, change you can make will overcome that male advantage especially in sports like swimming where lung capacity matters so much. Um, even something as silly as throat size, men have on average a 40% larger throat, which sounds like it's nothing. But when you're grasping for air, that 40% larger throat makes a huge difference in athletic success, not to mention height. Um, you guys know the differences. Ms. Robinson, do you agree with Ms. Gaines that there's a difference between women and men? If the question is about trans women... I'm just asking, is there a difference between women and men? I mean, what I can say here is that the NCAA has rules in place. They've had rules in place for the last decade, and when this competition okay, okay, happened, I'm, I'm try again. the rules were clear. Do you believe there's a difference between women and men? It, it's a yes-no question. It, is, it, do you believe there's a difference? Oh, I think that we're talking about this case with the NCAA. No, I'm asking a question. Do you believe there's a difference between women and men? Most think, people could answer this very simply. I, I'm curious if you're willing to do so. Oh, absolutely. I'm just putting it into the context of is the that conversation a yes? that we're having. I think that there are definitions related is, is, to sex. Is, is that a yes? So I'm that trying we're... to get a yes or no. I'm not trying to get, get a speech. Oh, I, is I'm... there a difference between women and men? I think that there are definitions for biological sex. Okay, so you're not answering that. Let me gender. ask you this question then. Why do women's sports exist? 
If you can't define a difference between women and men, why not abolish women's sports and just tell little girls to swim with little boys and see who wins? Oh, I'm simply saying that um, that sex is My different question, than gender. And I do, do believe why that women's, women's sports, sports have a great exist? value. I mean, Senator, I'll M tell you M right Ms. now. Ms. Robinson, please answer the question I'm asking you. Absolutely. Why do women's sports exist? I think that there are so many positive benefits to sports. But I mean, why have a separate category for women? If, if, you, if there's no difference between women and men, why to have women's sports? I'm saying that there's a difference between sex and gender, and that the NCAA has rules in place, which they have for the so last Mr. decade. Mr. Chairman, I, I would that like to enter into the record an, an article from Duke, Duke Law called Comparing Athletic Performances for the Best Elite Women to Boys and Men. And it goes through examining in 2017 the top records for women in the world in various track and field events. So, for example, in the 100 meter, the top record for women in the world was. 10.71 seconds. Now, that record for the number one woman in the world in 2017 was in the year 2017 broken by 124 boys under 18. In that same year, the record for the number one competing woman in, in, in the 100 yard, 100 meter dash in the world was broken by a total of 2,474 men. If the radical Democrat agenda to destroy girls' sports and women's sports succeeds, little girls will not have a chance to compete. So I ask unanimous consent that this article be entered into the record. Without objection, Senator Padilla. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, colleagues, uh, a recent